So what did y'all do for Valentine's Day? Here's what me and my wife did. Full disclosure, some of the videos sound like shit because I had this watertight case on it. I didn't know that this thing was such a fucking piece of shit, but it really is because apparently it still picks up any kind of motion. Like anytime you hear me rotating the handle with the fucking camera inside of that thing, you hear it. And so some of the audio on some of these videos are going to be ass and I apologize. All right, so check it out. The reason I'm making this video for her, when we first got together, uh, this will be 16 years of marriage, so it was about 17, 18 years ago. Um, very first Valentine's that I did for her, I made like a documentary out of that for her and uh, filmed everything. I got us a room at like the Red Rock, uh, took her out to dinner and like during the, decorated the room with candles and all that kind of sweet shit, right? And uh, the whole time that I was doing that, I was documenting it, like making little short videos like this and then putting it all together for her. Well, unfortunately, even though that was a memory that uh, she loved and wanted to keep, um, that memory card was lost that it was saved on. Uh, so there was no way of uh, backing it up and keeping it then. Uh, so I said, you know what? After all these years, let me go ahead and redo the video so that way she'd have a new one. Not bad, right? Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, so tonight, me and Gabby are going to celebrate our uh, Valentine's Day. Since Valentine's Day this year landed in the middle of the week, so we waited to the weekend. So I've got a bunch of surprises for her tonight that she didn't know I got. I got a video projector, uh, the Nebula Mars 3. Uh, and 150 inch screen that I'm going to set up right outside the jacuzzi and then uh, tomorrow I got some more stuff planned for uh, the girls are going to be gone for the weekend my sister's taking them so it should be fun stick around uh, I'm going to start setting up some things and I'll, sh I'll tell you guys how the rest goes it's awfully difficult to surprise somebody who's constantly asking you what are you doing you know we've known each other for so long that Whenever I do try to plan something out, she knows I'm trying to plan something out. And so she just gets more and more anxious and tries to be extra fucking nosy. Damn it. All right, so after a little grocery shopping, now it's time to get the libations for the evening. So uh, she wanted to have some margaritas today. So I'm gonna get her a tequila. And then I'm gonna get myself like some uh, bourbon or whiskey or something and something to relax to and shit like that. So, just step by step, making it happen. So as fate would have it, there was an item I forgot to get when I went to the store earlier. So I'm on my way back to the store to grab that one item. Oh well, shit happens. The one item I forgot earlier. I like her new favorite now. So now it's always the hard part, and that is the part of waiting. I have everything set up to the point as much as I can without giving it away and her being here. So, I mean, I guess all I could do now is maybe chop up some fucking limes for, uh, for her margaritas that she's going to want. That's about it. Other than that, it's just a waiting game. And then once she's out of the house for a longer period of time, then that'll be my time to, like, set everything up and get this party started for us. Waterproof case on it in case I drop it in here. So, salut. salut. <sighs> drink time, motherfuckers. Good? Need anything else in it or good like that? Delicious. She's having her margaritas with lime and tahini, and I'm having some uh, wild turkey 101 with coke. <laughs> So 
So last night was a good night. It was fun. Um, I would say the one thing that sucks about setting up all that kind of stuff is the cleanup the next morning. That kind of sucks. But the projector worked great. The screen was great. Um, those lily pads that I got that light up. Um, apparently, they're not designed for heat. Because while they worked, the like paint on the lily pads themselves started coming off. So I got to dump my jacuzzi water. I mean, I had to do it anyways. I mentioned that earlier. But still, fuck it. It was still fun though. They still worked good. They just, they're not made for heat. <laughs> Started melting and shit. All right, so we're at the Aliante and she's getting uh, like a massage and some sort of thing called a sugar glow uh, at their spa that they have. They have the relax spa. Heard good things about it. I don't know. So I set her up so she could get some stuff done. And then uh, while she's doing that, fuck it. I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna go gamble a little bit, baby. So while Gabby's getting her massage, I'm chilling at the ETA lounge. Started with 20 bucks in the machine. I'm up. So I can't complain too much, you know, I'm just sitting here drinking and enjoying myself. So, I mean, it wouldn't be a midnight project episode without a special appearance, right? So, oh shit, look who came by to have a drink while I'm waiting for Gabby to get done and shit. So what's up, Lamont? Say what up to the crowd, dog. What's up, man? Whatever, how y'all doing? <laughs> On this Valentine's weekend, I'm waiting on my cherries. There you go. Oh, there we go. Got it. Thank you, brother. Yeah, yeah got it. Anyway, salute, Art. Right. Salute. So we're here chilling and shit. Yeah, I've been making, so I told the, I mean, I'm making this video, right? Because when me and Gabby first got together, the first Valentine's that we did, I did a video kind of like this where I'm documenting everything, right? right. Every step of the way, I'm like, recording everything that i do and she loved it but somehow that video got lost like the the memory card just ended up missing um i think it's probably barry you know when he was on his fix and yeah. he sold the camera i think it was inside the case but whatever that's Damn. neither here nor there um so i was like fuck it let me reenact that and let me redo that shit so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just remaking these videos so I can put it together and make like one whole episode for it. So that way it'll be on YouTube. She'll never fucking lose it right, again. Right, right, right. Just go to and YouTube. And I'll also have it, you know, saved as well. So archive. Like, yeah, archiving shit. So hopefully it turns out good, but we have to wait and see. Here we are at the Salted Lime about to grow. Say hi, honey. Hi. How was it? How was your uh, massage? Uh, where am I looking at this? Because I feel like just I'm going across that. Yeah, you're good. Okay. You're good. So it was a very good experience. Uh, can we do this like this? Oh my gosh. Uh, don't mind my face. Okay. Um, but it was a very pleasant experience. They started off with the body scrub first, and then they did the massage, the full body massage. Um, it was very relaxing, and I did not want to leave. So yes, thank you for that. <laughs> It's all good. All right, well, so now was a good night. Left the machines, made money. Gabby was happy. Say hi. It was, the food was delicious. I had a mango margarita. Uh, their version of michelada, which was not that great. <laughs> but the food Overall, was delicious. Though. Well, Justin's food was delicious. You know, and everything's more delicious when it's not yours and you have to, you can take theirs. So good. There you go. Now y'all can't a lot. Y'all can't deny it because <laughs> women don't eat their own shit. They eat our shit. Everything looks better on our plates. All in all, successful weekend. Fun, good time. Um, some of the things that I got are, is cool because they're things I could use more than once. Obviously, like the projector. Whenever we go camping with the family, I could always take that with me. You know, the little ice bucket thing, I could always use that whenever we hop in the jacuzzi too. Uh, just little shit like that. So it's a good time. Um, if it's somebody that you really love and you want to do nice things for, today's society, I think, kind of tries to make you feel like you're a sucker for doing shit like that. But listen, if it's somebody that you love and you've known for a long time, you know they're going to be there for the long haul. Do the things to show them that you appreciate them. Do the things that to show them that you love them. Um, cause you never know, you never know what day might be your last, uh, and so, you know, tragedy happens all the time as you see in today's world. Um, so just make sure that the people that mean something to you know that, and as always subscribe, share and show you care.